championship fight between Michael Johnson and Nate Diaz. Well, you hear the pop from the crowd, DC, as Nate Diaz gets set to make this walk here tonight. You never know when is going to be the last time we see this guy compete, but there's a lot to like when you see Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz is a savage, a guy that just epitomizes Fighter from the attitude, the walk, the music. Everything tells you that when Nate Diaz shows up, you're getting ready to watch a fight. A fantastic striker and a great jiu-jitsu practitioner. Yes. Nate Diaz is just a well-rounded fighter and one of the biggest stars in the UFC. We've seen the Stockton slap before. I'll set the total. It's just so disrespectful. Over under one and a half. So you think he throws it tonight? It's just so disrespectful, <laughs> but it's so Nate Diaz. All right, we'll see if he invokes the Stockton slap here tonight. But Nate Diaz is back and hopefully in a big way for his supporters around the world. All right, here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155-pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. the take for this, our main event of the evening. Johnson is 34, Diaz is 35. He is two inches taller, he will have a three inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the USC Lightweight Championship of the World. If you see first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the challenger, Nate Diaz! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 20 wins, 16 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC lightweight champion of the world. for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making it for Submit me, I'm gonna try to take it down. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. And you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. If you want to avoid the grapple with this guy at all costs, I know he has the body. I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Nice punch by Diaz. Clipped him with the right hand there. Right 
right hand upstairs. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Left hand punch to the clinch. Just misses there with the left. Nice punch there by Johnson. As we cross the midpoint in round one. And they separate. Man, how good is that jab from Nate Diaz? Almost as if he's been doing it for 20 years, right? I mean, he has been doing it. You know, he's got a great boxing coach, Richard Perez, a guy that he believes in, a guy that has allowed him to gain the confidence to stand with the best strikers in the world. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, collar tie. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Oh, huge block! That's a big strike right there. 15 seconds remain in the round. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see oh. he didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Oh, big left hook there. So, fire a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Nice loop and punch. Right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. 
That punch lands in, in the perfect spot. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Can't take many of those. You better check. Bleeding from his cheek now. Well, Nate Diaz has certainly found the range here early, DC. This is a fighter close to my heart, close to my left forearm. 209, representing well here tonight. Look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the top. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. What a uh, round. Uh, All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Powerful leg kick lands. Johnson gets caught with that punch. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. And that he comes knee. through with a big hit. That knee hurt him. Oh. Another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Effective strike there by Diaz. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. What a fight! and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. Oh, he's that guilty.
tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number three. For the winner, by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Michael Bennett, Johnson. All right, so there he is, and still UFC lightweight champion at 155 pounds. That's saying something, right? A murderer's row of contenders, and the number one contender, no match for the champion team. For a long time, we talked about 155 as the toughest division in the entire UFC.